Major Slack videos. Yo, my name is Major Slack and this is my Cyberpunk 2077 walkthrough on very hard difficulty. There have been a lot of requests for this. What about more builds for the multi-build Power Star Slack? I will continue to put up build videos based on my special multi-build Power Star. However, all the testing I have to do to perfect each build is very time consuming as a lot of you have realized and it means a lot of downtime here on Major Slack videos and me no like that. Major Slack does not like downtime and I'm sure my viewers don't like it either although I'll, uh, most of my hardcore slackers understand that quality takes time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take my latest build, a stealth pistol build, and we're going to turn it into a complete walkthrough on Very Hard to provide content for my channel while I'm developing more builds in the background. For those of you new to my channel, I specialize in doing real walkthroughs, not blind playthroughs. That means I practice and study a lot before uploading videos. I have, and this is no fucking joke, pardon my French, this is no joke, I have 70 pages of notes on Cyberpunk 2077. I just plugged my notes into an online word counter and it came out to a whopping 70 pages. And understand, that's all short form chicken scratch. It would be easily five times that if I actually wrote the notes out in a way that other people could understand. And I'm sorry, no, I'm not going to do an ebook. I just don't have time. Yeah, that's 70 pages of condensed chicken scratch. And that doesn't include the many maps that I worked up in Photoshop. Nerd! Yes, it's official. I am a complete cyberpunk nerd. Um, I may at one point need to seek professional help. What you're about to see was tested countless times at level 16 using my multi-build power start save and then I took everything I learned and started a new game on very hard difficulty and tested and tweaked and tested and tweaked some more, restarted the game at least half a dozen times, tweaked some more, reloaded countless saves, tweaked, tested, etc. You get the idea. I did all this in search of a streamlined, optimal approach to a stealth pistol run on very hard difficulty for your viewing pleasure. You don't need to do all that to play cyberpunk on very hard slack. Yes, of course. You don't. Of course not. But then, without all that, all you get is a bumbling and stumbling blind playthrough, which in my opinion is of very little value. Not my thing. Too many of those already. Let's do something completely different. My first priority was to reach 100% crit chance by level 6. Why level 6? I'll explain that later. Alright, alright, calm down, calm down. I'll get to that later, don't worry. Here's my level 6 prototype stealth pistol build. She has 39.76% crit chance on her pistol and 57% crit chance in the stats screen. That comes out to 96.76% crit chance. Just a tad short of 100%. Close enough for rock and roll. Practically every single shot she does is going to be a critical hit at this point. I made crit chance a priority to make this walkthrough more console friendly. I know how hard it is to aim in Cyberpunk on the console. This walkthrough is done on the PC version but I also have Cyberpunk on my PS4 Pro. And me personally, I can't hit the broad side of a barn door with a game controller so that means playing on the PS4, playing on PS4 um, I can't rely on headshots and I'm sure it's the same for a lot of you playing on consoles, headshots are out. But as you can see with 100% crit chance you can get away with doing just body shots in a lot of encounters. That will make it a lot easier to follow this walkthrough if playing on PlayStation or Xbox. <laughs> see what I do for you guys. However, getting from point A, new game, to point B, 100% crit chance at level 6 on very hard difficulty will unavoidably require a lot of headshots. Um, so I tested this walkthrough on my PS4 Pro and have done my very best to develop strategies that will make those headshots a lot easier. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. Like I said, I totally suck with the PS4 game controller. Okay, enough of the intro. Let's get right to it. Um, be advised that I'm going to apply the quick and dirty approach to this walkthrough. That means I value speed and convenience over maximum resources. As many of you know, my major slack creed is the only bullets you truly waste are the ones you have left over at the end of the game. That goes for everything. Bullets, money, resources, whatever. Okay, once again, speed and convenience over maximum resources. Uh, here we go. New game. We're going to play on very hard. Like I said, boom, it's official. And we're going to play as a street kid. Let's go with the woman. Character appearance is all about just creating some eye candy for the game menu screens. So let's make her a female. My goal is to keep her as scantily clad as possible. Um, 
Within reason, within reason. As a stealth pistolier, she won't need much armor, just enough to get her out of some tight spots when her cover is blown. Of course, we'll, apl we'll apply the scantily clad agenda within reason, okay? Um, let's go with this one. Female preset, number three, skin tone, number four. Um, hairstyle, number 29. What did I do? That was skin type. My bad. Hairstyle 29. Hair color green. That'll work. Mouth 10. Very good. Lip makeup 6. That's the one. Lip color red. Looking good. Piercing seven. Oh yeah, nails short. She's a warrior. Can't have those long nails. Um, piercings. Seven. And cheek makeup. Number five. Cheap makeup color. Red. Body tats, four, and we're done. That's it, next. Okay, she is a stealth pistolier. That means we're gonna max out reflexes for pistols and cool for stealth. The seventh attribute, um, I've been fooling around with this a lot. Up till yesterday, I thought I had a solid plan by putting it into um, technical ability. Now I've decided, once again, I've tweaked it again. I think it's much more important to put it into intelligence, and I'll explain why later. Okay, so there we go, and we're done. There's our girl. By the way, nudity sensor is on, and... Music is going to be turned off. Actually, I want to turn the music on for the beginning. Just until that, like, that musical intro. I love that musical intro. And then after that, the music is going off. Okay, let me turn the music on. Just for the intro. A little anesthesia. Ugh, motherfucker. Everything chill, hermana? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Who? Oh, local guy? Really think somebody local try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V, I got a problem. I'm serious this time. Found yourself in a hole, sounds like. I need help. Ah, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he bust my legs. He don't joke. Okay, that's the gist of that. I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're going to owe me one. Speak now, forever hold your peace. Skip dialogue or play dialogue? Uh, post a comment, cast a vote. Um, I'm in favor of skipping dialogue all the way through Act 1 and then playing the dialogue in Act 2 because we I already played the dialogue in my multi-build power start all the way through Act 1. But um, if there are enough votes to play the dialogue as I'm doing this walkthrough then I will change my mind all right let's get to it for now I'm gonna skip the dialogue or rather skip most of the dialogue play just enough to get the idea of what we're supposed to do hey Kirk wanna talk V been a while 
Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't bite. Not yet. Cut him some slack, will ya? He'll pay. Just needs some more time. Transactions go two ways, I get that. I'll owe you a favor. ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh. And four? Number four will belong to my client. Just as soon as you clap it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man? How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This pity bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. Oh, come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. Easy, V. Job's gonna pad your wallet too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Bricks in the garage, but wait. Embers in the Glen, Bricks in the Garage, got it. I love this music. Yeah. Get to Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Okay, let's go meet Padre. Let's fast track this. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good down home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my. How plate. about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. Okay, we have to play all the dialogue in the car because you can't um, skip it. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard him, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good. Busy already? I'll pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... I'd like that didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. I love the V female voice in this game. I don't know what it is, it's just uh, she's got a nice, kind of a husky, soft tone to it. I really love it. Shit! Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. 
No more restless nights. See how generous I can be. One well, more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you. Which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft and they look down a barrel. Who is that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in this place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just strap down below. Here, before you go. Your number? Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. I'll be damned. Okay, this first mission has, has absolutely no impact on character development whatsoever, so let's just plow through it as quickly as possible. V? Status? On location. About to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Okay, you don't really need to talk to Rick, let's just go. Clef the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Okay, we have to hack it Let's and steal it. Piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a woman of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Enter Jackie. Get the what fuck the... out. Oh. Fuck! You can drive. Now out! What are you doing? Can you call us? This didn't go well. <laughs> okay, we can skip this. Yes, yours ain't. You know fuck all about me. Fuck, he's here. Okay, all that was just basically basically a little trash talking with the NCPD. Uh. NCPD being the Night City Honestly, Police Department. For a sec there, things looked iffy. I wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Stents wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Uh-huh. He's Haywood born, bred, and grown like us. Hates suits as much as you do. Did what he had to do. That's it. Okay, I... this is just basically um, V and Jackie bonding, <laughs> becoming friends. Got the job to steal those we. Just like that, you put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. They're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's, it's a kind of chemistry, you know? 
Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay, food it is. Let's go. Okay, so now V and Jackie are buddies. And this is the intro. I just love, I love this intro. Stanley here with you. And it. we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a it's mother Jackie's who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Yeah. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. Yeah. Okay. The city All right. of dreams. All right, bitches, let's do this. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Tutorial? Tutorial? We don't need no stinking tutorial. You're, you're rolling with the slacks there. Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure. Sure. Mañana. Mañana. Let's do this. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Okay, we started out with the pistol. We're not going to need it. Hello, game. Catch up. Attaboy. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be... nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. All right, shoot now, loot later. Looking for 1237. Oh, is that you? Try hacking the door. Okay, hacking the door to get it open. Let's get shoot now, loot later. Looking for Sandra Dorset. Sandra Dorset? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky Not here. Let's keep looking. Okay, now at this point, um, I want to turn off the dialogue because Jackie gets really repetitive. And I'm also going to turn off the music for the rest of the walkthrough. Sorry, I don't like music in walkthroughs. And um, off goes the dialogue. Okay, we're going to milk a lot of breach protocol and quick hacking XP out of these guys. So distract enemies every time you can before you do the stealth takedown. Stealth takedown. And on ice you go. Once well, again, shoot now, loot later. Although we're not going to do any shooting. Go all the way over here. 
Let me just do a quick save here just in case Mr. Fumblefingers decides to step in and completely screw this up as he is prone to doing. We're waiting for two guys to come out from the right. The first guy that comes out is going to be our target. We're going to take him down. That's the guy. Grab. Non lethal takedown. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Next, we have five devices in this area. We're going to tag them all. Fan. Floodlight. Radio. Another fan. And another speaker. Okay, all five devices tagged. We're going to use distract enemy on all of them to get some breach, or breach protocol and quick hack XP. Let's just do them all at once. And let's do breach protocol. Whoops. If you look at that, okay, it's a good thing it was the right one. And distract enemies on this one. As long as you got RAM, just do distract enemies. Distract enemies on the. F Whoops, okay, ran out of RAM. RAM's recovering. And we've got enough RAM. Distract enemies. For the speaker, we're going to save that for a special occasion. And wait for this guy to go back there. And wait for that guy to turn around and go back. See the guy I outlined in white? That means he's distracted by that fan. Wait for him to finish, and he's going to turn around. He's going to turn red. Go back around, and let's make a move on this guy right here. Non-lethal takedown. Loot him. Pick him up. Just ignore Jackie. And let's put him in the freezer for some extra stealth XP. Okay, he leveled up. Next. Want to do the final distract on this speaker over here to distract that guy over there. As soon as he's distracted, going to make a move on the guy over here on the right. He's distracted, let's make a move on this guy. Non-lethal takedown. Meanwhile, Jackie's taking care of the other guy. Okay, once that's done, go through this doorway here. I'm gonna peek out, just take a look. And you see there's a floodlight there, don't worry about that. Use distract on this. Let's wait for Jackie to get out of the way. Hurry up, no, I'm not. Okay, distract. Waiting for that guy to get distracted. We're going to do a takedown on him. Distracted enemy enemies are always outlined in white. you got to make your move fast because he tends to come out of the distraction quite quickly. Slide over to the left, come up, grab, non lethal takedown. And that's it, that's everybody in this area. Now let's go execute everybody for a little bit of extra XP. I don't do this throughout the entire walkthrough. Um, but let's do it now just for demonstration purposes. See they're only knocked out now. You can kill them for a little bit a little bit of extra XP. See 10 10 EXP. And that's everybody. Now let's go back to the beginning and loot everything. Okay, that's where we first came in. You do a quick scan to see where all the loot is. This is a quick looting job. As it will be throughout the entire walkthrough. This is just for demonstrational purposes. 
everyone knows how to loot they don't need to be told how to loot so if i overlook stuff it's you know i don't really care it's no big deal it's not like i'm you know once again i want to you know make this quick and dirty There are some key items that I'm always concerned with in every area. In this area, it's money. We have to exit this area with 800 bucks. That's the most important thing. Everything else is is completely. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's not important, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Did you die? Yes, you died. And that's another thing about looting. The game is kind of glitchy sometimes. You see something on a guy and you can't really, you know, position yourself just right to pick it up. So in those instances, I'm just going to skip it. I can't be bothered fiddling around trying to get it. Okay, money. There's some money in this, this case right here. And there's three pickups right here. We should now have 800 bucks. There we go, 800 bucks. Okay, so mission accomplished. And uh, humble apologies, my colossal prick of a landlord is at it again, making renovations downstairs. So you may occasionally hear some banging and thumping and hammering and whatnot. Um, my microphone is going to pick that up and it's impossible to filter out. Humble apologies. Okay, so that's it. Let's turn the music or the dialogue back on. Are you ready, Jackie? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh -oh. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, Jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. I think she's okay. She looks like she's good. She looks like she's chilling. Jacking in. Okay. She's just chilling. Sandra Dorset, NC five seven zero four four two, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum. Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, sick. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. It's got much as hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Cleave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Uh oh. V, need to know what's Jackie, going on. Jackie, you're a hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Catch, Chica. <sighs> okay, shades of pulp fiction here. I think. Oh shit, it worked. Fuera, Chica. Get her outside. Mm. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. I don't stay five steps back. Yeah, you can. 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 You can
Do you follow orders? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Elevator oh, gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Okay, we're done. Cut my wires now. See you in the near future. Oh, wait. Hello. Listen, you got I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Word's out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. And oops. I forgot to tell you about um, equipping your best pistol at this point. Which actually makes a difference on very hard. I wonder if this is not all safe. Yeah, let's back up to here. Okay, totally this forgot about this. We're getting into the gunfight um, as Jackie drives us home, and we're going to take a colossal amount of damage on very hard. So we got to get ready. We have no armor to speak of, and there's really not much you can do at this point except uh, maybe put on a hat if you can, but there's no other armor. See, this isn't even as good. That's not as good. So it's not about armor. There are no other pants to put on. And the other shoes that we get put on we can't wear yet because they are at level 2. So it's all about weaponry. I would say put on your best... Uh, put on the revolver if you have one. If you don't have one, you can make one. And just between the revolver or the Lexus, I find the revolver is better because it just has better... All, like, one-shot damage. Here you see the damage is 30. Whereas here... This is basically, it's all about your DPS. Even this one has a higher DPS. Um, even though the Lexington might seem like a better choice for this kind of thing. And, you know, you just want to, like, disassemble everything else to get as much parts as you can. There's one thing that cannot be disassembled, that one. There we go. And then go to your crafting screen. Here it's all about max docks. Max docks are much better than bounce backs in this situation. Bounce backs restore 15% of your health and 3% health per second for 30 seconds. That's no good. You want the max docks. But we've only got three of them. So let's craft, say, five more. Two, three, four, five. Whoops. Ran short. Yeah. And let's make sure we equip them. No, bounce back, so we're going to fall, on, fall back on those if we run out of max docks. Hopefully we won't. I think 7 will do the job. Garage to and that's it. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it going to look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. Don't get used to it. Saving my ass, V. Okay, we already saw this part. I'm just gonna skip ahead. All right, here we go. Leave it to me, chica. I'm driving. There's basically 
two scenarios in this gunfight. There's one part where there's two guys in the back of the van shooting at you. I don't think I've ever been able to shoot one of those guys down. Maybe I have, I don't recall, but I don't rely on it. And then there's the second part where they're driving beside you. At that point, you want to shoot the driver. The fastest you can take out the driver, um, the better it is. And um, above all else, spam it's your max stocks night, to stay alive. That's pretty much what it's all about. Other. Just bigger. Ah, chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. I think somebody's following us, Jackie. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me or? Yeah, somebody's following us. I know it. Man on our ass, tailing us. Shingado. I don't like this V. Not one tiny bit. Scuff! Okay, it's game on. Hey, 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 Okay, at this point, reload, and if you need to heal, Mierda, heal now. Perdón. Now you're going for the driver. Got you, assholes! B, aim for the driver! God, there we go. Hey, no damage, how about that? <laughs> yeah, stick with the slack, and you won't get whacked. <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. I can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. I have never done that before. Yep, still on, still on very hard. Yeah, I have never done that before. Gone through that with no damage. Not even on normal. Stops. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You should give me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Sir. <laughs> so you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. I love the super double negative he is. They keep trying to wrap your head around what he just said. I'm always never not nice. Like, what? The fuck? Skipping, that's the only time you can skip.
and as soon as we exit the mission will be complete and we'll level up. Sweet dreams then. Tell Miss Sierra said hi. I will. Hasta I will go. There you go. There you go. So to level up, we get one attribute point and one perk point. And if you did exactly what I did, you should have an extra perk point because you leveled up Breach Protocol. There you go. So Breach Protocol is that too. And there's your extra perk point. Okay. So everybody's got one attribute, two perk points. Let's go home. Good evening, Night City. My first guest Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zipping your deeds. Praise be to thee, our Father in Heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. Thanks for tuning in, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Okay, before we go home, a couple of things we're going to do. Just went and passed our apartment, go down this hallway here. Use distract enemies on these two vending machines here to keep working on uh, breach protocol. Same thing with that one. Come around the corner here, find this bag here, and this has $818 every time. So now, everybody has 1600 bucks. That's very important. Alright? If you don't, start over. And one last breach protocol here, or rather, this distract enemies. This is our RAM recovers. And there we go. Let's go to our apartment. In here, everybody should get uh, oh, 98 bucks there. Never noticed that. Huh. Jeez, that's the first time I ever noticed that. Okay, and a um, whole bunch of clothing. Show what to do with those uh, next video and in here in your is your stash i got the special bonus for connecting gog with i forget how it works but i'm not going to do this walkthrough assuming that you got that bonus so that's these items right here all these rare items most particularly the black unicorn i'm just going to assume that you don't have those items i'm assuming that everybody gets the frags take those and these common items here if you didn't get those common items post a comment but i'm sh pretty sure everybody everyone gets the common items all right got all that stuff some junk there quick look in the mirror there's no strategic advantage to doing this i'm just doing this for oh wait a minute it, it kind of glitched out of me that's what happens when you access the mirror too quickly Okay. Well, anyways, like I said, no strategic advantage. And he is a little tuckered out, so let's take a nap. And that is it for the prologue, and we are now in Act 1. Cue Jackie. Come on, Jackie, here we go. Whoa, V? You get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. When I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. Then I had neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw in some threads, meet me downstairs. And that is it for this video. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time for some more cyberpunk on very hard difficulty. Thanks for watching, people. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, and get vaccinated. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. 
you can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.